wanted to review the cheapest setup I found to cut and replace automotive keys and be able to program them as well. So I've got the DEFU368A and the Ansel DP500. So I'm going to be working on a Dodge Ram pickup. So we've got this style key. I just ordered a blank off Amazon and I'll put a link for that in the description. So first off, when you pull this thing out of the box, this is pretty much how it comes. You just have to screw on these handles here and the little red knob, and then it's ready to go. Comes with a little uh, accessory thing, which I find these kind of pointless. I think they're supposed to thread on here like that and allow you to tighten and loosen. They don't seem to work well, so... I just use a little socket for it. So one thing I wanted to point out is the instructions are kind of hard to look at, I guess. I feel like they could have done a better job on that, but I guess that's what you get for a $150 key cutter. So this piece here is a stop. So you can line your key up like that and get it even with your original. So your original is going to go on the right side and your copy will go on the left. So the handle on the right controls the depth of your cut and this one will move it around and you've got a lock in the front to keep it uh, locked from going side to side. And that's so you can, I don't know if you can see, but so you can lock in, in line, and just go up and down these ridges. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. And just to note, this is only the second key I have cut with this machine. The first one did work out, so I was going to duplicate that result. So you wanna make sure you're turning your key the proper way. So for this, I have a little dimple down here where the key ring goes. So I'm gonna put both those down to start. So to get these lined up properly, on the bottom of your key that you're copying, you've got a little dimple there and you wanna line that up perfectly along the ridge of the key and so when you think you've got it right you want to go ahead and slide the tray back and then press down and make sure it doesn't slide off to either side so i've got mine lined up now and just a note to get started you're going to want to go over the key several times and especially going up inclines like this part here you just kind of gently release pressure and climb up it. And then it, it's really difficult once you get to the peak uh, to keep it steady. So you'll just drop down into the valley there and just make sure you get it really smooth. And you can clean it up with a wire brush or a, a file of some sort when you get done. And so as you can see here, I've got it cut and the shape is roughly similar. So I'm going to take a, a wire brush and just clean that one off to get the um, little particles out of it. It didn't cut great on the right side of the key, so I'm just going to uh, readjust it a little bit, move over and make another pass on it. 
and that should get it cleaned up and then I'll do the other side. So we have our copy cut, so let's take it to the truck and see if it works. All right, so now we're at the truck and we've got our DP500 hooked up through the OBD2 port. And we're gonna take our key and see what happens. All right, so we've got our key here in. You can see we turn it to the on position. And we're gonna hit the immobilizer. We're gonna... Now we're gonna press Dodge, we're in USA, so we're gonna hit that. We're gonna scroll down to Ram pickup. We have a blade key that we had to cut. This is a 2008. All right, first we're gonna read the pin code. All right, we have the ignition on, so we're gonna hit enter. All right, so it gave us our code. Right, and now we're gonna go program new key. And we have the key in here to do it with. Key count is one, we're gonna hit enter. All right, and now it added that key. We pull the key out before we start it back because it has to reset. All right. And it works. I hope this helps and I'll put links for all the items down below in the description.